What is good, John? Welcome back to yet again another episode of J.I. Productions. It's your boy J.I. and I'm back at it again with another banger video for y'all, man. So, as you guys can see by the title and the thumbnail, I'm sorry, we'll let the camera do its thing and adjust to the lighting, man, you know what I'm saying? But as you guys can see by the title and the thumbnail, yes, we got some big changes coming to the channel, man. Um, and I kind of just want to address it real quick and let you guys know, give you guys a heads up because, you know, with me on this channel, on every channel that you see me on, that I own, you know what I'm saying? I like to keep everything 100. I like to keep everything a buck. I like to keep you guys in the loop. Just be as pure and as, you know what I'm saying? Just, I don't like sugarcoating stuff, you feel me? Like, I just like to be as straightforward with people as I would like them to be with me. You know what I'm saying? I don't like the hoorah games and, and the he say, she say. And, and you know what I'm saying? All, all that. I don't like the gas, you feel me? So with that being said, basically, yeah, man, there's actually going to be a change. Jesus, these people cannot drive, boy, I tell you. But anyway, there's going to actually be a big change coming to the channel very, very soon. And honestly, I think a lot of you guys are going to be happy about it. So with that being said, J.I., what are you talking about? What do you mean there's a change coming to the channel? Like, what do we need to prepare ourselves for? I get it. I get it. Stay tuned. Watch the video all the way through. Make sure you hit that thumbs up right now for the kid. Um, and subscribe if you haven't already. But basically, I'm just going to be honest with you guys. As you guys know, with all of the builds that I've done, man, they have mainly been cosmetic mods. You know what I'm saying? And like I say, this is actually something that you guys should be happy about, if I'm not mistaken. But basically, as you guys seen, if you guys have been in tune with all of the videos, been watching all of the vlogs, you got your post notifications on, you're subscribed, you're actually a JI Squad member. Then you would have seen the video when I went to the drag strip and made the first couple passes in Vader, man. Honestly, ever since that night, like, bro, I've had the itch. Like, I've had, like, it, it, it honestly feels like I got bit by the bug, man. I can't even lie to y'all. Like, before, you know what I'm saying? Going to the track was cool. It was fun. Like, don't get me wrong. It's always been fun. It's always been lit. It's always been a great experience. I always liked it. But, like, I never really, like, had, like, the passion to say, ah, you know what? I got to go to the track this week. I got to go to the track. I got to go to the track tomorrow. I got to go run the car down the drag street. Whoop -de -whoop. Like, I never had that. That wasn't me. I was not that guy, bro. I was never that guy. Like, I, I you know what I'm saying? I knew of Texas 2K. I knew of, like, street racing, 1320, top 10 meets, all of that. I knew of all of that and going to the drag strip and all that. But, like, that was just never really my main focus. You know what I'm saying? Because I was mainly worried about just making my cars look and sound good. I never really cared about making them super, super fast or nothing like that. So, with that being said, you know what I'm saying? I was always focused on doing the aesthetic mods. Doing stuff that'll make my car look good on the exterior and the interior never really cared about getting into the motor never cared about tuning the cars and stuff like that but with this car it's like i don't know i just feel like it's so great of a platform it's so great of a start that like you can't just not go to the track you can't just not make these cars stupid fast you can't just not do it man like i just feel like Chevy has made it to where it's like, bro, like you, like you, you got a 10 speed and you're chilling on it. You got a stock car that goes 12, four and a quarter mile and you, while sleeping on reaction times and you're chilling on it. You know what I'm saying? Like, so basically the change, <laughs> my bad. I know I've kind of been rambling, but basically the change that I'm telling you guys to prepare for it's just a whole bunch of drag strip videos, bro. Like, honestly, I'm to the point where if you guys watched that video, then you guys would have seen at the beginning, I was like, oh, my car gonna go 10 seconds. My car gonna go high, uh, high 10s, low 11s, under the 11s for sure. No, bro, no, no, it didn't, it didn't. As you guys saw, it went 12-4 at its best time. You know what I'm saying? So with that being said, there's a lot of work we gotta do. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of modifications we got to put on. 
There's a lot of modifications we gotta put on the car. There's a lot of tuning that needs to be done. We gotta get into this transmission. We gotta get into the motor. I'm talking about we gotta get it out of NA. We gotta get as fast as we can in NA. You know what I'm saying? And then go even faster when we go boosted. It's just that simple. So with that being said, y'all, this channel is legit finna turn into what 90% of you guys wanted it to turn into anyway. We are gonna go crazy. I'm talking about full drag pack. I'm talking full Boton. I'm talking boosted. I'm talking cam. I'm talking E85. I'm talking possibly meth, possibly nitrous. Like I'm talking bro, like legit, like this is the car that I've literally made up my mind with that I know for sure. And I only had it for a couple months, I know. But like, bro, I I know for a fact I can never let this car go. The only way this car is gonna leave my possession is by an accident. God forbid, knock on shifter, knock on steering wheel. You feel me? God forbid that it happens, but that's legit the only way that I would ever let this car go. I'm never gonna sell this car. So with that being said, it's time to send it, dog. It is time to send it. You feel me? It's time to go crazy. Like you guys know, if you like I say, man, if you haven't already, bro, hit that subscribe button and turn on those post notifications so that you can literally be notified every time I upload a video, bro. I upload Monday through Saturday, 4 p.m. Central Time. If you didn't know, now you know. Monday through Saturday, 4 p.m. Central Time. You know what I'm saying? If you haven't already, turn on those post notifications so whenever I upload a video, you can get a chime to your phone. You know what I'm saying? See what I did there? Central time, get a chime. I, I build cars, man. I'm not a I'm not a rapperist or anything like that. I'm not a rapperist. I just I just build cars and you know, yeah. I might throw a rhyme in there every now and then, straight bar every now and then, but you know, for the most part, I'm just a YouTuber, man. I don't. I don't partake in those festivities. But anyway, <laughs> let me stop getting off topic. Like I was saying, y'all, it's, it's, it's just that time, man. Honestly, I like to go fast. I always like, you know what I'm saying, tapping the gas and having, you know what I'm saying, a nice reaction. Oh. God. That one, that's the reaction I was talking about. <laughs> y'all probably didn't see that, but Vader just got sideways. <laughs> <laughs> bro, I like, like, bro, I'm trying to tell y'all, like, it may sound weird, it may sound, like, stupid, it may sound like cap, but, bro, when my boy Frank, shout out to my boy Frank, man, and shout out to the boys over there at Mac Hawk, Mac Hawk Chevrolet, you know what I'm saying, taking care of Vader, putting that drive shaft in him, bro, ever since that drive shaft got replaced, this car just feels like it has more power, like, it really feels like it has all of the power. I really believe there was a lot of power loss um, going from that transition from the transmission to the rear differential. Because that bolt was loose, I feel like while the drive shaft was spinning, it was wobbling, which is also what was making that noise, of course, but it was also losing power um, through that transfer from the transmission to the Rear differential, I'm pretty sure, bro, because like this car probably wouldn't have gone 12 4 that night without replacing that drive shaft. Honestly, just keeping it a buck, if, if my butt dyno is correct, the car probably would have went like 13 13 0 fastest time. Just because, bro, I'm trying to tell y'all, like, for real, for real, like, yeah, I told y'all the tires in the back, I didn't have no traction in. Yeah, that was true, but, like, bro, like, now, it's like, I'm gonna see if I can get, like, a dead stop for y'all, but, like, now, forget about it, for real, forget about it, like, if you, you don't take these, these tires down a couple pounds on the PSI or... <laughs> You don't do like a nice little burnout and you trying to go from a dig yeah go ahead and forget about it buddy because this this joint right here it's gonna spin and spinning ain't winning you feel me but yeah man i just wanted to let you guys know just be ready we're going drag strip crazy on this car you know what this is one of my favorite features so 
this neighborhood is always hot with police, always. And so, this right here, stealth. I'll send it just a little bit, roll into it so I can spin out. <laughs> See, okay, so basically what I was what I was telling y'all was this is my favorite part of the car having never valves in the back bro I could just put this joint on stealth mode and it literally sounds like a four-cylinder bro like it's hilarious dude but yeah y'all saw <laughs> no traction the entire time the tire light was just flat the tire light the traction light was just flashing at me the entire time bro that is hilarious it just spins these drones don't worry don't worry i actually got some radios on the way for one of the sets of wheels as y'all know i got multiple sets but i'm not going to tell y'all what set it's going on but what set they're going on but yes i got tires for one of the sets of wheels radials to be exact i'm not gonna tell you which ones but they're a very very good brand so y'all leave y'all comments in the comment section down below let me know y'all guess what tire uh company you guys think i went with for vader but look we'll put it in stealth mode again <laughs> we're gonna try to go off a dig traction is on by the way With the valves closed bro that's another thing that i love about this car bro even with the valves closed in stealth mode it still pops bro it still pops it still has the gurgles the bangs all of that like exhaust all valves closed i can mash it through a neighborhood that's heavily patrolled by 12 and it just does nothing like they can't hear nothing so they don't get scared like it's like legit going by pedestrians right now and no no reaction just went by like three four karens nothing look on this merge i'll put the exhaust back on <laughs> bro i'm trying to tell y'all <laughs> like bro that this car was definitely losing power, bro. It was definitely losing power because before it didn't just break traction like that. Like, like, bro, like it's it literally gets sideways every time, consistently, like every time, bro. I kid y'all not. Like I, I BS y'all not. This joint breaks traction every single time I floor it. Like I legit have to like ease into it, leaving. Uh, stoplight and it doesn't even make that much power so it's like I don't know these tires probably gotta go well they are gone but y'all don't y'all don't know the half so I ain't even finna get into that too much but yeah man honestly that's actually gonna wrap it up for today's video I'm super stoked I got the radios coming um got a whole bunch of go fast parts coming so y'all just stay tuned man because we about to be in for one hell of a ride Honestly, my end goal for NA is to get into the 10s, bro. I really, really want to get into the 10s. NA, just because, like, I'm give it a buck. And it may sound cliche, it may sound dumb. But in Fast and the Furious, when Dom told my boy, Paul, you know what I'm saying? Hey, I, I'm going to need you to go ahead and, you know what I'm saying, replace my race car. He didn't tell him, oh, bring me an 11 second car. He didn't tell him, oh, bring me a 12 second car. You owe me a 12 second car. No, bro said, you owe me a 10 second car. So with that being said, I want my car to be either in the 10s or in the 9s. But NA, I'm pretty sure NA probably trying to keep as much of the interior as possible. I wouldn't mind doing a rear seat delete with like the little, you know what I'm saying, the little pad and everything that I was gonna do on Reaper. But as far as the front seats go, definitely wanna keep the Recaros. Definitely. <laughs> Bro, y'all don't understand. Bro, look, <laughs> if only y'all can see the construction workers' faces right now, bro. Like, bro, 
I should do another reaction video of me driving my car. Like, my reaction. Because, bro, I'm trying to tell y'all, like, this joint is definitely, it's definitely a different breed at the moment, for sure. I have no words, bro. For real, for real. This thing just be slipping and sliding, bro. Like, I love this car so much. I love this car so much. Oh. I'm gonna do one more pull for y'all. Just because, you know what I'm saying, I know it was like a ride-along video type, so I try to keep them as entertaining as possible. I know you guys really don't like these kind of videos. You guys wanna see me doing modifications and doing stuff to the car, uh, you know what I'm saying? But I appreciate those of you who actually watched the video all the way through. So that's why, you know what I'm saying, I'm gonna go ahead and do this pull for y'all, this last pull, and then we'll go ahead and get out of here. So I'm gonna let them get ahead. I don't even do those. We're gonna do a 20 roll, see what they do. I'm leaving traction on now. Ready? One, two, three. Subscribe right now. All oh, those Brembos, man. Those Brembos, boy. Sheesh! <laughs> There's six pistons up front, boy. They be putting in work. I'm trying to tell y'all. Y'all better stop playing with them. Them Brembo boys, y'all better not sleep on them Brembo boys. Boy. I don't know if y'all seen that, but my seatbelt had tight locked on me there, but yeah, man. <laughs> like, bro, when I tell y'all, this joint just spins, man. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this video here, man. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, turn on those post notifications, drop a comment in the comment section down below, man. Give this video a big thumbs up. I'm gonna see y'all in the next one. Peace from the J.I. Galaxy. Hear me.